Hi besties and welcome back to another video. I thought I'd continue my future ship series since the last one was so well received. This time though it features Aoba Jose. This video is also heavily inspired by Megan. Chan's future ships video some warnings the video contains topics surrounding abuse though it won't be in depth. With that out of the way onto the video. In the Aoba Jose Volleyball Club 2012-2013 Group Chat 9.54pm did you know that raccoons fit into very small spaces? At everyone okay which one of you guys said that raccoons were going to be Ikora's weekly obsession? I said eagles. Dang mine was dogs. Lizards. Pandas. Frogs. Surprised face Kyotony chatting in our GC. Why are you acting so surprised didn't he say that his bet was frogs last week? PFFFT of course you would know. What's that supposed to mean huh? Oopat Matson, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Smirking face. Ahohoho Yahaba. Got something you wanna tell us? Like what exactly Matsukoa-san? Neutral face. Stop playing dumb it's obviously your little crush on you know who. Shut the fuck up Watari. He has a crush. Oh ho 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 at Matson get the popcorn ready. Oh I'm glad you asked Kyotony. He absolutely has a huge crush on someone. Okay that's enough. I thought we're talking about Okoa-san's weekly animal obsession. Thank you Haba-chan for moving the attention back to me. See this is why you're my favorite Kauhei. Anyways as I was saying did you guys know that raccoons can fit into tight spaces? You literally just said that 30 seconds ago. Shh. Anyways since these things can squeeze themselves in tight spaces, it's a known fact that at least two and a half raccoons can fit in your anus. Isn't that cool? Kinky. Kunami. What the fuck is happening? I mouth I. Two and a half? You're telling me that two raccoons and one that's probably dead because it's half can fit inside my anus? I. Hanamaki-san the way you're phrasing that makes me want to believe that you have plans on stuffing raccoons in your anus. Keyboard smash no what the fuck. I was just wondering why it was two and a half. You know Maki there really are times where questions shouldn't be asked and now is that time. No okay why say two and a half? Like is one of the raccoons chopped in half? I don't think that's what it means Maki. Ever heard of baby raccoons? Why are we still talking about anus raccoons? Help what the fuck anus raccoons? Watari Shinji added F Watari Shinji to the group chat. Watari? Who's this? Watachi? Is this another account of yours? Oh my god at Watari tell me you're not trolling and this is true. Oh my god. I actually thought that Baldi from Kerasuno was smoking crack when he told me about this feature. Am I the only one who's confused right now? No. I also don't know what the fuck is happening. Baldi? Watari san and you also bald? Hey. I have hair. Barely. Says the one with the tennis ball looking ass hair. At least I still have hair. Shut up. You barely have any hair like me. The only difference is your hair is piss colored. Shut the fuck up. Wataki. Who's the person you added? And what was the Kerasuno thing about? It sounds crazy but somehow the folks from Kerasuno were able to talk to their future selves. I call bullshit. I actually thought it was bullshit too, but they showed me screenshots of their conversations with their future selves. Proof or it didn't happen. Hold up. Let me try to find the screenshots. Who told you about this though? It was Tanaka. He somehow made contact with his future self by adding a bunch of numbers to his current number. I forgot how he did it but he said that he was supposed to prank someone and he ended up contacting his future self. You don't think this is some type of voodoo shit right? Like what if we find out we die in the future or something? I honestly would like that. Kunami, you need help. Hey. Yo at Yahaba we're still waiting on the screenshots. Hold up. I swear I saved those screenshots on my phone. Okay everyone. It's bullshit we can all go back to our regular schedules. No wait I promise it's real I saw it with my own eyes. I'm not crazy. I promise. You're not being very convincing right now my dude. Okay at Watari why don't you at your future self maybe he'll reply. Oh yeah right. Is this some kind of weird roleplay or something? Because I can tell you right now that Watari could easily just be using another phone to fuck with us. I swear Okoa-san I'm not I can have Yahaba vouch for me. You and Yahaba are both sus I don't think any of us can trust your vouchers. At F Watari Shinji PLS reply so I don't look like a crazy MF. Oh still no reply Watari. At F Watari Shinji. At everyone spam him so he answers. Everyone mentioning Watari. F Watari Shinji is online. Ah uh, hello. Why is everyone spamming me? And why is everyone using their high school profile pics? You guys are literally in your 20s? Oh shit hi future me. UHH what the fuck? Why is there another me? Who the fuck are you and why are you using my name? Yo chill it's just me but from the past. Very convincing performance Watari. Question mark. What performance? You can stop rollerplaying with yourself now. What the fuck? I'm not rollerplaying with myself. I'm literally so confused right now. Why do you guys have a P in front of your name? What do you mean? Exactly. I don't see a P in our names in the GC. No. Like I'm serious. Why is Yahaba's name P Yahaba Shijiru? Wait. Do you see an F in front of your name? 
No, but I do see your name starting with a P. I think that stands for past. Hey future me, can you add the other people from the team? UHH yeah sure, I'm still so confused what the actual fuck. F Watari Shinji added F Yahaba Shijiru and F Piotani Kintero to the group chat. What's this group chat for? Watari, I swear to god if you add me on another one of those weird ass group chats. No, wait I swear even I think this is weird. Question mark. They're apparently our past selves or something? Are you sure you're not sniffing shrooms or something? Uh, I'm not the only who finds this weird right? Nah I still think it's bullshit. The second years are probably pranking us or something. You think Piotani would willingly participate in a prank like this? He does have a point Mackie. I mean Mad Dog Chan pranking someone? What the fuck? What's that supposed to mean? That I can't prank someone. He just thinks it's out of character for you to be pranking someone. Especially since you like to keep to yourself a lot. TCH. Could have worded it better. Iwazumi san really has a way with his words ha. Huh? UHH I think we're ignoring the elephant in the room here. There are people who are apparently from the future in the GC. Why do your names have a P in the beginning? That's what I was saying earlier. It might stand for past. I mean they did keep calling us future people. I guess it makes sense. Wait what year are you guys in exactly? 2012. WHOAAA that's way I back. Huh? What year are you guys in? 2022. Holy shit. 10 years. Wait. I need to see high school Kyotony. Huh? At Kyotony. What do you want? Whoa. I forgot how quickly your past self was Ken. Ken? I don't remember giving you permission to use my first name. Dude seriously? The fuck is your problem? He's talking to you properly and you're giving him that attitude. Oh shut up. This bitch. Eyes. Are you seeing what I'm seeing Matson? Seems like sexual tension Mackie smirking face. Shut the fuck up. Kyotony. Respect your fucking senpai or else. I. Lel Kyotony san you good? Future Yahaba san so cool being able to tame Kyotony san. Pfff tame Kindachi you're making it sound like he's a dog. Shut the fuck up. I kinda needed to learn how to control him. Especially since I became captain in our third year. Huh what? I became captain? Oh you didn't know? I was planning on making you captain after graduating. Eh. Hey. Ikora san don't you think someone else is much better with that job? Um. No not really. Eh. Watari can't be a captain since he's our club's libero, and I don't think Mad Dog Chan's going to be interested in becoming captain. Kunami and Kindechi, while they do have good qualities I think it'd be best if they had more experience before being captain vice captain. But ha, huh? have more faith in yourself Yahaba you're going to do great. Fuck, even if it wasn't me who Iwazumi san was talking to it felt nice hearing those words. Babe I'm here if you need anything. Excuse me, babe. Aha. Uh -huh. Pay up Iwa Chan. Neutral face. You Madsen we were right. Hahaha <laughs> looks like our dear Iwa Chan is going to be treating us to some ramen. You're telling me I'm ending up with that thing. Who are you calling a thing ha? Huh? Were we always this aggressive towards each other Shaj? Yeah, it feels really weird seeing this now to be honest. I future me why him? You could have done so much better to be honest. Stop lying to yourself. Come on. Remember that pic we secretly took of Ken shirtless. Okay shut up that's not true. I. You took a picture of me shirtless in the locker rooms? What? Your abs looked cool okay? PLS future me shut the fuck up. Besides, don't act like you weren't checking me and Iwazumi san out back then Ken. What the fuck? You didn't need to mention Iwazumi san too you know. Kyotony? Dart. Oh ho 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 Matson do you smell jealousy jealousy in the air? I think I do Maki. Too bad a certain someone is too pussy to spill their feelings for their best friend. Iwazumi san please. Lel I love how their future selves are exposing their past selves. Oh my god I still cannot believe that you actually confessed to him. Oh ho ho that's where you're wrong past self. Question mark. Ken was actually the first one to confess to me. Excuse me. Why the hell would I confess to someone like him? Bitch as if you're the shit. You and your pretty face can go fuck yourself. Why oh 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 pretty face ha? Huh? Smirking face. I. Shut up. Anyways Ken and I became closer during our third year and during university. It was also at that time where he confessed to me. When we were studying at uni we'd meet each other on the weekends and talk shit about everything. We were basically each other's rant buddies. Yeah. Can you like, you know, tell us the story of how he, you know confessed? Exclamation point. Was he like, you know, I don't know past me. What are you trying to say? Since when was Haber Chan so sassy? I know right. Did he look cute while doing it? Oh ha 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 ha. Yes, yes he was very cute when he confessed to me. Did you also think him beating up your ex was cute? Man was an asshole. He deserved it. Ex. Yes, you were the biggest flirt before you and Kyotony got together. I what? Wait before we continue with that. Let me try to add some people. 
F. Hayotani Kintero added F. Iwezumi Hajime, F. Okoa Toru, F. Hanamaki Takahiro, F. Matsuko Isi, F. Kindeichi Utero and F. Kunami Akira to the group chat. Anyways back in uni you kinda had a thing with this guy in one of your classes. He looked pretty good by the way but not as hot as Kendo. Long story short you guys got together and had some very big problems. Man was a grade A pain in the ass and a walking red flag. That Kyotani had to step in and intervene. I was really thankful that Kyo knocked some sense into me before things between the ex and I got worse. How did you know you liked Kyokan? IDK. After that whole ordeal I kinda stopped looking for a relationship and focused on myself more. Ken was around me a lot helping me recover from that. And I guess my heart learned how to love again and I slowly fell for him. Or. Not the ex-boyfriend part though. He can go fuck himself. Oh. Don't worry past me. Kintero isn't even that bad. I mean have you seen him without his shirt on? He's built like a god. I. It's not that I just didn't think he'd actually like me back why no. Fair enough. But seriously Ken is a whole package deal. Hot as fuck. Caring and a great cook. I. I think you broke him habit and he keeps saying I. Oops. I just backward. What the fuck is happening? Aki. How was work? It was meh how about you? Same. The guy who was talking shit about me fell down the stairs today though. PFFFT. Ah uh, hi. Who are you guys? We should be the ones asking you that. I backward a bit. Apparently they are our past selves. Yeah, they are. Yo. Surprised faces that I were Chan. Oh god, another Oikoa. Excuse me. It's already a pain handling your dramatic ass. I don't think I'll be able to handle two of you. Mean Hajim. How could you treat your future husband like this? I love you Iwezumi being a cheeky fuck. HMPH you think you can get me with that? I can see you smiling like an idiot from over here. Shut up. I was looking at a meme not your stupid text. That's not what I'm seeing from the reflection of your glasses babe. Keyboard smash babe. Excuse me what? Surprised faces that another Iwa chan. Why oh, oh, oh. The bald widow from Kerasuno wasn't kidding when they said they talked to their past selves. At Hanamaki how come your future self immediately accepted the fact that they are talking to their past selves? Oh shut up. A man can't be skeptical for once. Besides you and Yahaba looked sus while informing us about it. Fair enough. Oh god I just looked at my past self's profile pic. Was my hair always this unoriginal? What the fuck? Ohaha roasted by your future self. Shut up. My hair is not unoriginal. Hate to break it to you past me, but just look at your hair and tell me it doesn't look like we just copied I was hairstyle. I. Uh, I feel like we're going off topic again. Why was future I were Chan calling future me babe? Because I'm your boyfriend? Why else would I call you that? Keyboard smash holy shit really. Oh god future me why? I were Chan. I knew you always loved me. Nauseated face. Seriously future me. Why would you settle for his dramatic ass? I were Chan meme. Hey that was my past self talking Toru, not me. Still. You keep saying that I were Chan, but you probably were the one who confessed first face blowing a kiss. Keyboard smash okay wait I just remembered how these two idiots got together. Oh god your weird ass plan to get them together? Call it weird all you want I see I'm still the reason why they got together. UHH future me what exactly did we do to get them to confess to each other? Oh yeah, right sometime after high school Okoa and Iwezumi went their separate ways to pursue their dreams right. Ikes went to Argentina and Iwa went to California. Holy what? I actually went there? Okoa senpei, you plan to go abroad? I mean yeah but I didn't really think I'd be able to actually push through with it. See you idiot, I told you that you could do it. Surprised face Iwa chan that's the nicest thing you've said to me all day face with big pleading eyes. Shut up. Anyway, one day Okoa messaged me out of the blue and started ranting about wanting a boyfriend girlfriend. Keyboard smash shut up. Okay in my defense I was pining over Iwa Chan that time. And I thought the chances of me ending up with him was zero. Bitch. Do you not see how he looks at you during practice back then? Eyes. Iwezumi Hajime left the group chat. What the fuck? Okoa Toru added Iwezumi Hajime to the group chat. Iwa Chan. Is this true? Shut up. It is. Every time you make a good spike serve he smiles like an idiot. Yep and his reason is because whenever you do a great serve he says that you have this specific smile that he thinks is very cute. I. Hajim? What? It's true. Going back to the topic I told Okoa that I know this guy who I'm 100% sure of that he'd like. Yep and he says that it's a blind date between the two. Yeah and I'm pretty sure Maki doesn't know what the fuck a blind date is. Because literally on the day of the date he literally blindfolds me before escorting me to my date. Shut up you literally didn't know what a blind date was as well. SHH. Yep and guess who his blind date was? It was me. And yes I was also blindfolded by Maki before going there. You know the funniest thing about that date was the way they went about it. Oh yeah pfffft. These two literally went on about their date wearing the fucking blindfolds instead of taking them off. The only reason they recognized each other was their voices. You sound like that one guy I've been pining over since high school. Stop. Keyboard smash remember when they tried eating with the blindfolds on? Oh pfffft yeah. They literally took blind date to the next level what the fuck. 
Shut up. At least I didn't get proposed to in a McDonald's bathroom. Keyboard smash no one talk about that. Excuse me what? Who am I engaged to? I love how Hanamaki-san ignored the part where it was in a McDonald's bathroom. Me at Hanamaki Takahiro. I how what why in a McDonald's bathroom? UHH. Long story short, they had an intense makeout session in the bathroom. Ikora. And while they were making out the ring Matson was hiding fell from his shirt's pocket. You're dead. Hide while you can bitch. Uh. Dart. I love how everyone is just getting exposed left and right. PFFFT couldn't be me. Ahoho Kunami chan it's bad to lie you know. I'm not lying. Captain. Really? Because I'm pretty sure I've seen you staring at a certain middle blocker on our team hum. You're seeing things Okoa san. Maybe you should start taking Iwezumi san's advice to rest. It might make you less delusional. Oohh why are you so defensive my precious Kaohei? I can feel everyone except for people facepumming at how dense they are. Question mark. Question mark. Our dear first years are still as dense as ever. PFFT yeah. True. Maybe they just need a little bit of some Mackie meddling? What do you think love? Love. Keyboard smash PLS marry me. And also yes. I think they need a little Mackie meddling. It's been proven and tested that it gets two people to kiss and get together. Never say Mackie meddling ever again. Oh shut up. If it wasn't for some Mackie meddling you two would probably still be pining over each other. TCH. You know I feel like we shouldn't learn this information from our future selves. Oh come on Haber-chan you're not a bit curious about what's going to happen to us in the future? IDK just a little scared that if I learn about my future I'll get complacent or some shit and end up being a failure. You're not a failure. Hey. Kyotony comforting Yahaba? Why do you sound so sure about it? I thought you didn't give a shit about me. I never said that you ass. You didn't but you certainly made it look like it. Dart. Past me. If there's one thing I learned from dating Kintero it's that I should start looking at things from a different perspective. Question mark. Why don't you adjust your mind to think that if you knew about your future, you'd be more inspired to reach that goal faster? Exactly Yahaba. Stop thinking of yourself as someone who's inferior because you're not. Horizontal ellipsis. Thanks. I guess. If it makes you feel any better Haber-chan why don't I tell everyone what they're going to do in the future okay? Sure. Right. Let's start with the third years. Iwa-chan. My handsome. Some dear future husband is currently working as an athletic trainer in the US though he sometimes goes back to Japan as well. Oh. Uh. I didn't go pro. No. I kinda realized that even though I like volleyball I preferred the coaching side of things instead of actually playing. Yup and not only that he was actually the athletics trainer of the Japan national team in the Olympics last 2020. What the fuck? Iwezumi sans so cool. He thanks Watari kun. Wait. If he became an athletic trainer then what would I become? We are actually a professional volleyball player for CA San Juan in Argentina. Holy shit. Iwa chan. I'm a pro. Oh my god. See. I fucking told you Kora. You can make it. Wait okay I need to calm myself down a bit. Okay. I just realized me and Iwa Chan made that one promise right after we lost to Kerasuno right? Oh yeah that ha. Huh? Yeah? What about it? Well. How are we going to fulfill it if Iwa Chan is not a pro player? Ah. Uh, you know Toru. Just because I'm not the one playing on the court doesn't mean that I can't beat you. You know? I I don't know if I should feel challenged or turned on. Seriously Toru. There's children here. I U H H what ha. Huh? Iwezumi eggs has stopped working. You broke him Okoa-san. Oh and another thing passed me. We played in the Olympics. Holy what? Keyboard smash. Yup. We played for Argentina of course and we played against Japan which was coached by Hajime. Wait. I get it now. Is this what you meant future Iwa-chan? Very smart past Toru. Yes that's exactly what I meant. Who won though? Bet it's me. PFFF dream on bitch. We're keeping it a secret for now. Don't worry you'll find out soon enough winking face. Yeah. Wait. Last question. Question mark. You said Iwa-chan is in the US while we're in Argentina. Ah. Yeah we have a long distance relationship. Is it hard? I heard those things don't last a long time. Not gonna lie I'm a really touchy person so yeah it kinda is but what's keeping me moving forward are Hajime's visits. We promised that we'd visit each other every chance we have and spend it together. Oh. Hey. Something wrong Kora? I'm just, you know, scared. LDR couples usually break up and I'm scared that I might lose both my best friend and lover you know. Toru, if it makes you feel any better I can assure you that my love for you wouldn't run out just because we live in different countries. We both know what we were getting ourselves into and we promised that we'd be there for each other. So you can trust me when I say that I love you and only you. Hajim. I love you so much. He's right Toru, so you don't have to worry about that too much alright. Hey as long as I have you Hajim. I'm not crying, you are. Moving on. Maki and Matson are engaged. Madsen proposed to Mackie in a McDonald's bathroom after accidentally showing the ring when they had an intense makeout session. Stop talking about that. Besides, Madsen proposed again, this time to a fancy restaurant. Did you make sure it wasn't in the bathroom? Bitch I will literally rip you apart. 
Hehe anyways Mackie is currently in between jobs while Madsen works in a funeral home. I just haven't found one that I can settle on that's all but hey I do freelancing sometimes so I'm not jobless. Yeah. He sometimes helps out at a local ice cream shop and has photography services too. Madsen on the other hand works as an undertaker for a funeral home. I don't know if I should be surprised that I work at a funeral home or be amazed. Hey it's an interesting job actually. At first it was kinda creepy working with dead bodies but I just kinda got used to it. Fun fact Okoa got scared when he first found out Madsen was working as an undertaker. Who wouldn't? I've seen way too many horror movies and not to mention you assholes scared the shit out of me when we visited Madsen. OPFFT you mean the crank? Keyboard smash the funniest part of it was the fact that he actually pissed himself. Shut up. I drank a lot of iced tea before visiting you okay. Anyways. Even though we live miles apart the four of us managed to make time for little trips and all that. Feast your eyes on Mackie's amazing photography skills everyone. Fokoa Toru sent four photos. I'm still curious about one thing though. Which is. How did me and Matson get together? Doesn't he have a relationship with Izumi? Oh. Her. I see. You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No no it's fine really. Did. Something happen between us? She became very. Abusive right after we graduated. Matson. I don't know what I did to make her act like that but, during my time with her I seriously thought I wouldn't be able to find love again. She'd control my every move, even questioned me where I was every second of the day and to top it off she cheated on me twice hair. I tried breaking off from the relationship but she threatened me that she would call the cops and accuse me of doing bad things to her. I see. Dart. When I finally broke off from that toxic relationship I was scared of trying to find love again. But that's when Mackie came back into the picture. He was so patient with me, comforted me every time I'd get panic attacks from the memories, and eventually I guess I learned how to love again. Maki. I did make a promise to be the shoulder you can rely on I see. Thank you Maki. Past me. Now that you know this info please make the right choice and save yourself the trouble. I will. Future me. Alright second years you guys are up. Let's start with my favorite Kauhei Haber-chan. Haber-chan works as a sports instructor after graduating from high school. Wait. Just like iwezumi san Kind of. I think Iwezumi-san's position is much higher than mine though. What's the difference between Iwezumi-san and Shigeru's jobs? Maybe in their specialties? Iwezumi-san knows a lot about physical therapy and managing his athletes' injuries. Yeah I think that's it. I don't really have that much special training in those fields apart from basic first aid. That's amazing Yahaba. Hey. Woke Iotani complimenting someone. Now that's weird. What? Is it weird for me to start being nice to my future husband? Hi. Oh ha you sly bitch mad dog chan. Shut up. On behalf of my past self Kintero thank you for thinking that I'm amazing heart. Dart. Stop being jealous hubby that's literally your past self. I can't with them they're so cute loudly crying face. Anyways moving on. Madog chan is a V-League Division 2 player for the Sendai Frogs. And you know he's not as vicious as he was back in high school. Fokoa Toru sent an attachment. We stand character development. You were the last person I thought about using the word stan in a sentence. Shut up. I mean he was never really vicious to begin with. Yeah right. Remember during your first year he got mad at a third year and called him incompetent? That's because he was? Couldn't even set the ball properly. Oh. Yeah and that fist fight he had at the back of the school that caused him to be suspended from the club? That's because the idiot was being an asshole to Watari and Yahaba? I obviously had to do something. Or see he does care. Of course I do dumbass. You two and probably the rest of the club were the only ones that didn't judge me right away. I may not have been great at expressing my emotions but I care about you guys a lot which is why I just resorted to taking pictures for remembrance. Or Mad Dog Chan. That's a lie. You just wanted to have an excuse to take shirtless pictures of Iwezumi san Excuse me what? And you wanted to see shirtless pictures of Okoa san I still have those conversations saved when you ask me for some pictures. Shijiru. Keyboard smash shut up I'm your future husband stop exposing me. You exposed me first babe. Well. We're waiting for the pictures Kyotony. Fine. F. Kyotony Kintero sent 5 photos. Kyotony? What the fuck? Iwezumi san please. It's not what it looks like. Yahaba? Keyboard smash Ikora san please I swear it was one time. It was twice but okay. Fax Nanlaka you're not making it any better Kintero. I'm going to move on before it gets weirder. Watachi works as an aquarium employee in Kanagawa. Oh and he's single as fuck so. I the last part wasn't necessary. Maidenless Watari let's go. Bitch. Future me. What the hell are you doing with your life? Go get us a maiden. I'm trying okay. I mean we did set him up on some dates but. Don't you fucking dare. He ended up getting brother zoned by all of them so. What the fuck. Oof. Emotional damage. Or don't worry Watachi maybe someday you'll finally find the girl of your dreams. 
the baldy from Kerasuno got married to their manager who kept rejecting him his whole high school life so. Exactly. Don't lose hope watery kun. Ugh easy for you to say you guys are in a relationship. Hey why don't you try out those dating apps I told you about? Fine. Okay down to our last two Kunami and Kindechi. Oh my god. Question mark. Question mark. Kunami is currently working in a bank while Kindechi plays for a V-League Division 2 team called the Tamadan Elephants. And these two are also the densest motherfuckers I've ever met my god. Huh? How exactly are we dense or san Yeah we're just. We're just friends blah blah blah. Wait. They're not together? Yeah. Like I said we're literally homies. What the fuck? I could have sworn I caught you guys making out in one of our training camps. Ohh that. Ever heard of kissing your homies goodnight? Nua that wasn't kissing your homies goodnight. That was full on makeout session with tongue. You're seeing things Watari senpai. Like Akira said we're just friends. With benefits probably. Aikoa. What? These two idiots won't admit that they're smitten for each smh it's making me wanna hit my head against the wall. We're just friends. End of story. Maki. I think we're gonna need some of your meddling powers to make these dense idiots realize their love for each other. Oh ho ho. Don't you fucking dare Hanamaki san. What do you mean? I'm not doing anything. At least not yet smirking face. In all seriousness though I miss these types of moments a lot. I don't know why but the 2012 to 2013 volleyball club was always the one that had a special place in my heart. Oh here he goes with him being a big sap. Shut up past Maki. We should seriously set up a huge get together guys. Maybe play some volleyball like the old days. That excludes our past selves of course. To be honest I kinda wanna see everyone again. It's been so long since we've all caught up with each other. I think we deserve a little get together. Agreed. For now though I think we should all go to sleep. It's almost 3am and we've all got lives to live. Ugh I hate adulting. Yo past selves make sure to enjoy your high school lives. Being an adult sucks balls. And stay in school. Maki was the last person I ever thought would say those words. Agreed. But they're right. Everyone we still have morning practice go offline now. We'll take our leave as well. Take care everyone. F I Weizumi Hajime. F Hanamaki Takahiro. F Matsuko Isi. F Kyotani Kintero. F Yahaba Shijiru. F Watari Shinji. F Kindeichi Utero and F Kunami Akira left the group chat. Before I leave. Do you guys have a sec? Question mark. Why does this feel familiar?